Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will be learning SUMF's function in Excel. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, without further ado, let's get started with SUMF's in Excel. So, what is SUMF's in Excel? Now, you might want to calculate uh, the total sum of sales, right? So let us assume that this is your entire store's sales data and you wanted to calculate the entire sum of sales. So there is a sum function in Excel where you just have to, you know, select all the sales and apply sum function onto it and you'll get the sum of all the sales, right? So with something like this, you'll select all the cells and then you'll apply a sums function and you'll get the sum here and average everything, right? So this is fine but what if you just wanted to find the sales that are happening in only western region as you can see our column f is based on region so we have four regions south west east and central so your manager asks you to find the sales happening in suppose say west region so how do you calculate it would you manually go into each cell and check if it's west and calculate that will be time consuming right so what if you had a method which could do it for you just in a matter of few steps or few clicks right so that's exactly sum ifs so it will basically add a condition calculate the sum of sales where the region is equals to west simple to like or similar to sql query right so that is exactly what we're going to do in excel today that is using sum ifs now let me add here sales of west region now in the next cell let's add a sum ifs function remember there are multiple sum functions in excel so when you type in sum you can see so many options based on sum right you just have sum followed by that you have sum if it is just sum if not sum ifs today we are concentrating on sum ifs so not just sum if we'll go to sum ifs so we'll be having an option of uh, placing multiple if conditions there so let's also try that more on that later now let's press tab to select our sum ifs function now okay we forgot another important step so before we apply sum ifs we need to convert our table into a table format yes it looks stable but right now it's not in tabular format it is in the format of database we know that microsoft excel considers its data as a database by default so to convert the database into table just click anywhere on the data and press ctrl t so that you'll have a new dialog box and it will ask if your table has headers just make sure that you have ticked in it our table does have headers so select ok now our database has been converted into a perfect table and it's ready for applying some as function so now you can see our database has been successfully converted into a table now let's begin with our sum ifs now again remember we are using sum ifs here not sum if or sum so select sum ifs and press tab and we have our sum as function now the first step which column are we looking at what are we finding out right which is a sum range what sum do you want for now we need sum of sales so select the sales column and we have a simple key function here let's hold control again press shift and hold shift together so we're holding control and shift key together and now we're pressing lower arrow key once yes the entire sales column has been selected comma now where do you want to look so we want to look i mean which part of the table you want to fetch right so this is the region part we want to fetch right now so again hold control and shift together lower arrow key the entire column is selected now the next last part so we want to look into the both of the columns that is sales column and region column now which type of data you want so for now we want western type of data that is the sales data which is happening only in west right so we'll select this cell with the data as best or you can also manually enter it for now let's select the data so i'm selecting the cell f7 which has a uh, data as best right now let's close the parenthesis and press enter so there you go you have the sales happening in the western region now you can also try to format it in the form of currency so let's use uh, dollars 
since it is based on American states. So let's use dollars. So there you go. Now we are having the sales data of West. Now let's try to copy the same to all the four cells. And uh, for now here, let's type in East. And this can be South, right? And this can be your Central. There you go. Right. Now you can also copy the same formula and make minor edits to it. So here, instead of F8, you can select uh, East. So where is East here? And press Enter. So you have the sales related to East. Now let's try to edit F9 with South. Select South region, Enter. So you have South sales. And what remaining is central. So let's edit central as well and press enter. So there you go. Right now you have all the separate sales data from west, east, south, and central. Now again, uh, you might want a bit more granularity in data, right? Or in your reports, right? Like you wanted to find the sales data happening in west and you wanted to find out the category based on only furnitures. So your manager will ask you, okay, a fantastic job. So now just give me another minute detail on the data. I want to calculate the sales happening on West based on category furniture, right? So he wants furniture or he wants office supplies only, right? You can also do that. It's not an issue at all. Now let's try to copy this cell and paste it here and sales in West. Let's add another input here on furniture. Right now you wanted to calculate the sales happening in West region only on furniture. So you can also do that. Now we can use the same formula as well. Just copy paste the formula here. Right. And you can add a few things here. When you try to add a comma, it will automatically generate the next criteria. So it is expecting that you are looking for adding another criteria. Right. Now which column you want? You want category. So let's select category. You want to select all the cells, same trick, control shift, lower key, and again press comma. And you wanted to select only uh, furniture. So select on furniture cell. There you go. Now press enter. So there you go. We successfully have the sales data from West region based on category only furniture. So that's how you do sum ups in Excel. You can also add a few more details to it. Like in furniture, you can also look only for tables. So here you can see. In West region, we have furniture sales data and we have sales data of West region based on furniture, which includes only tables. You can also do that using SUMS function in the same way. All you have to do is select the subcategory column and select the cell which has the data as tables. So this is how you use SUMS in Excel. Now with that, we have come to an end of this session on SUMS in Excel. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you need the data set or the resources we used in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.